Hi, so this is an exciting day. We picked up this piece that was for free. I'm imagining not a lot of people wanted it because it was out there for a while. So this piece is very old. I really don't know how old. I'm gonna take a gander that it's anywhere between the 20s and 40s. It is an old, old piece. So here's the back of it. So at one time, there was some sort of cover over this wood. So that broke off. Excuse the traffic, folks. Sorry about that. We have this outside, and we're going to keep it outside so we can strip it. But um, So at one time, there was this cover that went over this wood. So this wood is going to be removed because there's some stuff going on, some oxidation going on, mold possibly. So we want to pull all of this out, and we're going to peel this off. We're going to take these quarter rounds out and we're gonna take these out. Now these strips going across, we're gonna keep because that helps the structure. And we're going to, when we put maybe a thicker plywood, Luan plywood on here, we usually get a thinner one. We're gonna get a thicker one this time. And we're going to put this back on. These pieces here will stay. A lot of pieces are kind of screwed in separately. We have what's screwed in here, this decorative piece you can see. Someone definitely attempted painting it. There's many layers of paint on here. So we're actually going to remove this piece. Although it's really charming, it's really sweet, it's not really our style. And that design is telling me it's somewhere between the 20s to the 40s. Um, the problem is this piece doesn't really match our style, but also it, it's really kind of falling apart a little bit. So we're going to remove that. Then we have the shelves here. Again, many, many layers of paint on here. We have the thing here for the door so when it opens, but we see this is the bottom of the shelves. And this is the top. There's a divot here for plates, which is great. But I don't think we're going to be doing that. But you see a little cracking going on. So there's definitely many layers of paint in here. I'm going to guess at least five layers of paint. This is old, so they've probably tried to fix this up as often as they can. What's great about this piece is the glass is intact, which is great. So we're going to try to preserve that glass as much as possible. We can't really take the panes of glass out, so we're going to have to be very, very cautious working around it. If for some reason it breaks, we're going to look into replacement glass, and the other thought would be to maybe do some kind of chicken wire. And we're going to leave it as shelves. I think we're going to make this a library, so we're going to put books in here, because that's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So we have a couple of pieces off, like we have the insignias, which I do want to keep. I was thinking, oh, I'll mold the other side, because the other sides here and I would just somehow mold the shape of it and try to mimic it but we discovered it was in a drawer which is exciting all of this needs a good strip so all of this is going to be stripped cleared and then we're going to uh, refinish as much as sand it and clean it up the best we can we may end up bleaching the wood just to get it down I am going to end up painting it I don't want any of this orangey part of the wood coming through if it comes out really spectacular with the wood, we may just stain it and keep it, but it'll be not a dark piece. So we'll see. Uh, this bottom piece, like I said, is going to be uh, stripped and sanded. And then we have these drawers here. They did have the pieces in here. This was a piece, a chunk that's off the leg that I don't think we're going to keep. A couple of, there's a quarter round piece. There's, oh, here we are, the little, insignia. I'm going to try to get those back on. But these legs here are really bad. They're in really bad shape. So they're really pointy and it's a little precarious. I'm a little concerned that it could topple this piece down. And we have a chunk off here that's gone. That's what that chunk was in the drawer. And even chewed up here on the legs. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have to actually remove these legs and put new legs on. We'll do something really cool with it. So there it is. There's the piece. It seems very daunting, I'm sure, in some ways. And there's a part of us that are thinking, what have we gotten ourselves into? But we love this thrill of the find. Um, and we know it's gonna come out so fabulous for us. We have it outside right now because we're gonna do a lot of stripping with it. A lot of the citrus strip or some sort of stripper all over it. A few, quite a few times. It may be up to seven times. But once we get it to where we want it, and we know that's the best we can do, we're going to sand it down really good, bleach it probably, and then decide from there if we're staining it or painting it. But there it is. Let's see how it all turns out. Wish us luck, folks.
now that we dealt with most of the piece we're looking at right now, unfortunately, when we flip this over, we're looking at the bottom panel as mold, which we did notice in some parts of it. We didn't, for some reason, look at the bottom. Going forward, we're going to um, keep the frame in there because it's really the inserts, these wood panels inside this frame at the bottom. We're gonna try to get in there and pull that out and then put some new Luan pieces in there and try to sand it a little bit, clean it, and then seal it up. This whole piece is gonna take a little more cleaning. This has really, really been, I'm gonna be honest with you folks, the bane of my existence, but I know, I believe in this piece, and we're so far into it now that I believe in this piece, and I just know it's going to be beautiful in the end, but we need it to be safe if we're bringing it into our home. When you get an old piece like this, people will keep it in their basements, they will keep it, in, and they're not nice basements, finished basements, you know, in their basements they will keep it, um, in a garage, um, sometimes outside, believe it or not, um, and it just, it, mold is an issue. So we absolutely, you have to be very cautious when you're dealing with mold, wearing a mask, wearing gloves, washing up constantly, cleaning the area, uh, definitely do it outside if you can. So that's our next thing we're doing right now, and then we can get back to the project. So it looks way better now that we've replaced the panels and got rid of the um, ugly offending uh, tiles, but also uh, Paul has informed me, thankfully, they were just rotted, they weren't moldy. Um, so that's exciting because I was nervous about us handling the mold even outside, but always work outside if you can, folks. So we are now going to cut these legs. I'm not going to paint or stain the bottom. There's no need for it. No one really sees it. But we are going to cut off these legs and put on some new legs to kind of modernize this piece, but also it just needs too much repair and we have to match. Yeah, those front legs, definitely the, the feet were broken off. They no were. That's true. So, um, and the back legs, we couldn't really match it totally. And honestly, the bottom of these back legs are a little chewed up too. So we're we want to modernize it too. So we're going with a, we didn't know if we wanted gold. Paul was not a fan of the gold, even though I am. But um, we are going to go with the, uh, the black feet. But the thing is with that, with the um, legs, the thing with this is um, they are shorter. So this piece is going, this whole piece is going to be a little bit shorter. It's about 14 inches now, and it's almost seven inches. It's about 6.9 inches of the new legs, but I think it's going to be great, even despite that it's a little bit smaller. We were thinking originally to build it up a little bit, um, but it would have affected the integrity of the piece, and it would have looked strange seeing this box at the bottom. There's no way to make it look nice, so we decided to just have it a little bit shorter. These are the new legs we've got. They're going to be situated here. Because I need the, something for them to screw in, I'm going to add this board here. I'm going to some screw into here, and then I'm going to try to fill in over here as well so we can have some uh, support.
everyone. Hi there. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Gina. I'm Paul. And welcome to Brimbleberry Cottage. Welcome. If you've been here for a while, thanks for supporting our channel. Yeah. Uh, please consider subscribing and hit the like button if you like content like this. And uh, let's get into it. Like, So we had an awesome week. Um, and when I say awesome, it's good and bad. Right. <laughs> we had a very, very busy week. But unfortunately, Paul and I um, definitely got some kind of a virus. Plus, we had some mishaps with this piece. Um, number oh. one, <laughs> I cut my finger. Uh, not bad. And we had uh, layers and layers and layers of paint. Oh my, I love to paint pieces, but this is crazy um, and it was such a gorgeous piece yeah. when he brought it home it was free we saw it on Facebook marketplace um, this uh, I guess a curio display cabinet we'll say um, but oh my goodness I was in love but I had no idea what we we're in for yeah. I just said let's take a risk yeah we'll and, figure what we have to lose yeah so. and we wanted a library for our books um, yeah. It wasn't going to be, and we thought, great, if down the road we want to display items in it, this is a perfect piece. It is. So we bring it home, and I can see, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. However, a lot of work. Yeah. And stripping the paint, there was some, as you see, the back panels and even the bottom panels were rotting out, um, had to be replaced. But I had the Luan on hand to, to replace all those things. Thank goodness um, for that, Luan. <laughs> yeah, we're running low. We're going to have to get some more for the next project. Yes. But we will because uh, we use it a lot. We do. It comes in real handy. Yes. Um, but as you can see, um, we went through the work, got through it, and it looks beautiful. I think mean, it came out great. It does. Um, so after uh, we used a, well, Paul did. Paul did this ucky part with the stripper, the paint, the paint stripper. stripper. Yeah. And oh my gosh, I don't know how many times you had done that. Too many. Too many, yeah. It it's, it's, yeah. So, that never a fun thing. No, so highly recommend a great paint stripper and then a good scraper, a wire brush, definitely that and some kind of plastic put, to put down on the ground and absolutely 100%, especially when it's an old piece and you don't know anything about it and it's possible that it have, might have lead paint, possible mold and rotting and whatnot. You want to do the piece outside so um, also in the nice weather um, and you want to do that in the nice weather but in the nice weather um, if you can still have your hose hooked up it's good to rinse things down not only the piece itself but after you're done working in the area scoop up everything you can and clean it off because you just never know with chemicals and all kinds of things and there's animals out there and you have you know cars and things around you don't want to ruin that yeah. so those are my tips on that but also um, sanding 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 you're going to go through a lot of sanding discs but having a really good strong power sander which we do we have a really good one but um, doing that a lot and then from there you get to enjoy the piece you dust it off and you start um, seeing it come alive and the yeah. magic happens and in this case we wanted to get rid of that orange um, so we kind of whitewashed with just watered down white paint it's kind of equal parts but it's a little more water sometimes because I just wanted to get that orange off and then a little bit of stain like a dark stain um, that dark walnut yeah. that we love yeah. and then we ordered from Amazon these beautiful glass knobs and I put the link at the bottom for those, uh, the glass knobs and the, the legs. The legs The legs of the piece had a lot of potential. Uh, I could have tried to repair them, but the feet of, of both the front legs, I don't know if you saw in the pictures, but was, they were all chewed up. There was no saving them. There so, weren't. And so. there was chunks of the front legs off in the back. Yeah. And it was, just, it was just really hard. So we thought, what if we change this up? So it shortened it a little bit, but not too much. And no. I loved it. Yeah, I, it I love it. Yeah. So it's a great piece um, it, in our office, and we're absolutely pleased with it. That was it for this week. Um, we had a lot of fun, um, but we had this one project. Just you know, always make time for projects like this, especially when it's an, when, when it's an old piece. But this project took days. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so it sure did. we finally finished. Yeah, and, and we had other things going on too. So yeah. it was, it was and a busy we were, week. And we were both under the weather. So it, that definitely was kind of in between all that. But, uh, but it's that season. It is. Uh, very happy with how, how it came out. You have a great eye. 
you know, and you'll see a piece and you'll figure out what you want to do with it. And sure enough, it looks great. Thanks, honey. Yeah, it is a really beautiful piece. And if you're noticing this cute little guy behind us, isn't he adorable? We went to Dollar Tree today, which, by the way, the backing on that piece were, was contact paper, that was right. sticky contact paper that we, we had a great design. We originally wanted a different one and they didn't have enough of the panels so we went with this and I'm so glad we did. We found a really cool oh, nice. backing for that and um, and then this guy was like please take me home. I mean look at him. He's adorable. <laughs> he's five dollars a Dollar Tree and he's the squishiest, softest, cute, comfy little pillow but anyway I had to get him. But anyway so that um, and check out Dollar Tree. We're not associated or sponsored uh, by them or with them at all. We just wanted to say they've got some really cute stuff this fall. So um, we hope that we'll see you next week. Again, hit the like button and thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us.